to the real world. It sucks. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Being an adult without a handbook is hard enough as it is, but thankfully the world was blessed with an unofficial adulting play-by-play -play in the form of a TV show titled Friends. We're going through 11 life lessons we learned from friends right here on Listed. Whether you're a huge Friends fanatic or someone who casually enjoys the reruns when they stumble upon it while flipping through channels, I think we all can agree that show has taught us all some pretty valuable and memorable life lessons. From learning the right way to count during a spray tan to knowing that it's okay to pursue your dreams no matter what age or where you are in life, Friends has taught all of us a lot, whether we were aware of it or not. Now this one is probably the most important life lesson we could ever learn from a TV show. Well, it was disguised as a hilarious moment between Rachel's sister Amy basically body shaming Joey for eating pizza and giving you possibly a new diet mantra to live by. Come on! Last night I was finishing off a pizza and she said, ooh, ooh, a moment on the lips, forever on the hips. <laughs> it shouldn't overshadow the fact that we should all love our bodies because, well, it's our body. Not to mention, Joey pretty much shut down Amy in the best way after she body shamed him for the second time. Sure you want to eat that? <laughs> I'm curvy and I like it! There's literally no better way to shut down a negative Nancy than by telling them you're fine with who you are. Aside from the annoying people who think they have every right to criticize you in your life, there will also be people in your life and the world who will try to correct your grammar. And in some cases, like this one, as Ross so sweetly pointed out to Rachel. Oh, oh, and by the way, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E means you are. Y-O-U-R means your. They're right. Basically, the lesson here is learn the differences between your and your and their and their and their so you can avoid dealing with a grammar stickler. All right, so enough with the semi-serious life lessons. Let's move on to something more fun. After all, if we learn anything from friends, a good majority of life, aside from boring responsibilities, is fun and games. The next one is kind of a game changer, so listen up. If and when you decide to go tanning, remember to listen closely to the instructions, and if you ever are unsure about how to count, don't be afraid to ask. Because if you don't ask, well, this will probably happen to you. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So while we did learn after watching Ross's mishap that you must count Mississippi-lessly, we also learned that there's no harm in asking for help or clarification. Chances are if you ask, things won't go horribly wrong and you won't be an eight in front and a zero in the back. I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? <laughs> oh, and it gets worse. Yikes! Being an adult with an apartment is hard enough, but if you decide to try and make it a little easier on yourself by getting a roommate, do not, I repeat, do not, ask a random stranger in the aisle of a supermarket to be your roommate. No matter how much you bonded over chorizo, it most likely will not work out, and in the end, you might find yourself living with an absolute creeper. Hey, Eddie. Stop! <laughs> what are you doing here? Nothing, really, just watching you sleep. Why? Makes me feel, um, peaceful. <clears throat> Please. It's best to avoid all the creepy weird stuff altogether and maybe interview potential roommates before deciding on a certain one. You can't be careful enough. And honestly, if the roommate lesson wasn't common sense, this next one should be. Remember when Phoebe's smoke detector went off for no reason or what she thought was no reason and then she took it off her wall, basically bashed it to smithereens to stop it from making a noise and then got in trouble with a fireman? It's against the law to disconnect them. Fine, but please, God, tell me how to stop it from going off. Just press the reset button under the plastic cup. His advice is basically a no-brainer because smoke detectors are there for safety reasons, but the other lesson to be learned here is to basically not break your smoke detector no matter how annoyed you are because something like this could happen. Reset button, reset button. Where's our reset button? Oh, here it is! Oh! Yeah, I can't imagine what Phoebe had to do to get it to stop beeping since her reset button was broken off of the smoke detector. Throughout the entire series, one of the more prominent themes and lessons is that it's never too late to follow your dreams. Let's take Chandler, for example. The Chan Chan man was pretty much working at a dead-end job checking the weenus and processing numbers for years until he unknowingly agreed to move to Tulsa, Oklahoma and decided to quit. After not having a job, he was encouraged by Monica to find a new career path and finally after many, many years of wasted doing something he did not love, Chandler moved to find a job he was good at and loved. Just then, a kid comes flying by wearing the shoes. He jumps over the old guy and laughs and the line reads, not suitable for adults. 
Of Chandler, that's great. And we can't forget about Phoebe, who learned how to ride a bike thanks to Ross. Well. All right, try pedaling. Okay. That's it, you're doing great. Okay. You're doing great, yes, yes, yes. Take control, yes. Whee! See, I mean, sure, she fell off, but hey, as cheesy as it is, it really never is too late to live out your dreams. Like I mentioned earlier, there will always be people who criticize the things that you do, and as much as we want to prove them wrong, like when Monica revealed her plan of revenge on the restaurant reviewer who gave her a bad review. I want to go by there and make him try my bully base again. Oh, cannot wait to read the front page of the post tomorrow. Restaurant reviewer admits I was wrong about Monica. She learned in the end that while one negative review sucks, it shouldn't matter at all because there are plenty of people out there who actually love her cooking. But, um, well, I, I cook at this restaurant, Alessandro's, and um, I just got a really bad review. Oh, Alessandro's, I love that place. You do? Oh, yes, you're an excellent chef. We all could have saved so much time if Monica learned this lesson in the beginning of the episode, but honestly, where is the fun in that? Friends itself is a pretty old show that has withstood the test of time, and to be honest, for a show that was created in the late 90s, early 2000s, it was pretty ahead of its time. I mean, in a time where it was low-key taboo for a woman to make a move and propose to a man, it did teach us that it's actually okay and not so different for a woman to propose. Yes, to fall in love with my best. My best. There's a reason why girls don't do this. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so Monica couldn't quite get through her proposal. Big deal. It was still a sweet moment, and honestly, there's no shame in not being able to finish a proposal because of your emotions, and there's definitely no shame in being a woman who proposes to a man. Guys, Chandler wasn't mad about his girlfriend turned fiance attempting to propose to him, and you shouldn't either. Another thing you shouldn't be ashamed to do? Lie to your friends, because when you lie to your friends, bad things like, say, being given a 3D painting of a woman by the name of Gladys that you're not very fond of and having to accept it because you told your friends you loved it. Hey! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! Guys, you guys, you don't have to fight over her anymore. Whoever doesn't get Gladys gets Gwyneth. <laughs> and even though Gladys and Gwyneth are two very beautiful original buffets, I don't think anyone really wants it in their home besides Phoebe. Just saying. Since we're on the topic of things you shouldn't do, we all learned very well from this ross incident that in no way, shape, or form are leather pants a good idea because when it gets hot, well, it'll probably be that much harder to pull up your pants after a trip to the bathroom and no one wants to get in a situation like this. <laughs> ross, you okay? They're still, they're still not coming on, man, and the lotion and the powder have made a paste. Remember, no matter how great leather pants look on a model, it's not worth it. Do you want a weird lotion baby powder paste thing on your legs after not being able to pull your pants back up? I didn't think so. Another lesson we all learned from this is to not listen to Joey, but that's a moo point. It's like a cow's opinion. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. <laughs> It's moo. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's safe to say that no matter how nice or great of a person you are, sometimes bad things like Ross's leather pants happen to good people, which brings us to our next live lesson. And as Ross so greatly said it, Oh, not another one! <laughs> oh my, oh, and this is moisturizer. It's even harder to clean! <laughs> Why? Why do bad things happen to good people? And you know what? Sometimes you will find yourself asking why bad things happen to good people, and well, it just does. Life isn't perfect like you are, and when it throws something horrible your way, like, say, moisturizer all over your things and your luggage, you kind of just have to roll with the punches and not let it ruin your day. While freaking out may be dramatic, fun, and sometimes hilarious, in this case, we all learn that it's just better to keep calm and carry on. Bad things will happen, but they'll also eventually pass, and in most cases, or Ross's case, it's pretty flexible, so spare yourself the trouble of freaking out over a mess and figure out a solution so you can move on and live your best life. Now, with all of those life lessons in mind, you can no longer say that no one told you life was going to be this way. What are some of your favorite life lessons from friends? Let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're down there. And when you're done with that, click right over here for 31 celebrities you forgot were on Friends. Thanks for hanging with me right here on Listed.